20 or uh, 14 to 13. You know, it happens, it's going to happen tomorrow night or tonight to someone. So uh, it's, uh, it's very critical that uh, you continue to take it serious. And, and I've always heard at all clinics that it comes from the head coach down on, on how important special teams are going to be. And now is when the season really starts and begins. And you, you did have a loss at Tulsa East Central, but they were 5A team. So you played up that time to kind of get a feel for just what your kids can do. And that a lot of times is a good thing because you really know where, just how good are our kids going in before district happens. So now you get district play. So this is the big one. Yes, it's, it's very big. You start back over. You have a pre-district schedule, and, and uh, those are the games to get you ready for your district play. You know, there's eight teams in a district, and four of them make the playoffs. And, you know, we want to make sure that we're in that group. So uh, tonight we start that journey, and – and, you know, the, the first three games, there's some good memories in there, some tough ones. But, you know, at the end of the day, it, 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 none of them really count towards what we're going to do as far as postseason play. So, You're playing Muldrow. They're 3-0 uh, for the season. And uh, Salisaw is 3-0 for the season. And I see where Broken Bow is taking on Salisaw. That's going to be a very uh, good ball game. And, of course, your game, too, is going to – kind of indicate who really leads the pack, isn't it? Yeah, there's uh, three really good matchups. You know, I'll be Poto interested to hear the Hill Del Poto score. So mm -hmm. uh, things will be shaking up real early here in our district race. And, you know, the Broken Bow Salisaw game is always a big one. And I know those guys probably don't like to have to play the first district game of the year, a game of that magnitude. But, uh, you know, I guess us and, and Broken Bow will be right over there next to each other. Uh, so they're, they're at Salisaw tonight. So. Best and of luck to you guys. I'll tell you what, I hope you win this one. Well, I really we, do. We appreciate that, and uh, we feel like if we go play our, our style of football, we're, we're going to have a great chance to win. Being uh, a graduate at OU, I have to ask you this question. <laughs> Is there any possibility – by the way, has uh, Bradford been cleared to play, or have you heard? Uh, uh, he has not yet. I haven't heard either, so I just wondered, because I've been out of town, and I would yeah. want to find out – is there any possibility that we could have a shutout Saturday if Bradford comes in, throws no interceptions, hits most of his passes, and they catch them? Could we beat Miami? Well, first of all, we will not get scored on Saturday because the game's next week. Oh, they it's have next a whole week. week, which we're glad for that. I'm, I'm, but, I lost a week. Sorry about <laughs> that's that. That's all right. But I think. Uh, I, I, I would say I would not bet a penny that OU is going to shut out Miami. <laughs> I didn't say They're that tough, OU won't, aren't they? won't have yeah. a great, you know, I think we'll have a chance to win. Wouldn't that be something if we had three shutouts out. instead of just two in a row? Yeah. They, uh, they've got a tough yeah. task coming yeah. up. Uh, but, uh, you know, they'll, they'll, I'm sure, be ready and have, a, have an opportunity to win late in the game. Well, we'll be cheering you on. And thank you, Coach. Appreciate it. Right. He'd probably like to get a little bit of this action. It's Hey, you got radio time? Is that yeah. kind of your? Bill on here, Wagner, the man. Just, just trying to help about out. I, I, I about that third word. <laughs> yeah. Or you know, you know, you yeah. know. I'm just trying to, you know. I just ask them.